All right, so I realized I hadn't done any videos on roses. So I wanted to show you how to take store-bought roses from the grocery store and clone them and turn them into a whole bunch of rose bushes. So here I have a rose, a single rose, and I'm inspecting this rose to figure out if there's any developed nodes. And I found a developed node, and so I'm going to separate the developed node from the plant, from the um, stem. And I have another developed node here, so I'm going to snip just above the developed node. And so I have two cuttings now, and I'm making sure that I have a angled cut, so I have a high surface area at bottom. So it's going to give more area for the cambium layer to emerge roots. And then I'm going to clean this stem up and leave just one partial leaf right at the top of this cut. So this is minimal surface area of leaf. I still need some leaf because as water transpires through that leaf, it's going to draw water up through the stem. And that's going to tell the plant that, hey, I need roots so I can support this water loss. And so that's going to trigger the, gro the growth of roots. And you're going to want to develop, you're going to want to poke holes in your dirt so that when you put your stems in the in the dirt, you don't lose all your rooting hormone powder if you're using rooting hormone powder and you don't want to damage them too much. So this isn't required. I just like a really high root density on my cuttings. So this will encourage extra roots to grow to make sure that I have enough root volume to support water loss as the vine, as the um, rose bush starts developing. Once you dip them in the rooting hormone, you just place them into the holes that you just poked into your, um, your soft potting soil mix. Repeat for as many cuttings as you have. And I'm just pushing the dirt down to get the air bubbles out. Um, there's a type of fungi that grows, fungi that grows in the soil that actually promotes rooting and root health. And so you want to make sure you get the air out that doesn't really like oxygen very much. So I'm pushing all the air bubbles out. And that also helps water to move around in the soil. If you have air bubbles, it kind of prevents, it kind of cuts off the water's ability to move around. And this is the final product. Here's my cuttings with those partially developed shoots. And so hopefully as these shoots start developing, they're going to promote the, you know, the, the cutting's going to promote root growth. And I'll have three genetically identical rose bushes that'll produce those nice pretty roses that I had on that cutting. And right after I did this, I did one more. And here is what it looks like after. So you can see it that I'm gonna have, it looks like six rose bushes, hopefully. So wish me luck. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.